What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Syracuse versus Miami college basketball matchup going down Saturday, January 20th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love, make sure you head to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. I also have a brand new all-access program coming out very shortly. It's been asked about a lot for college hoops. Uh, it's only for my bigger players, guys that are staking more than $500 on a, on a, a game for college hoops you're gonna get top rated plays overnight plays and line moves as the lines progress late breaking info uh like a lot of plays as the lines move and we try to get some some uh, some closing line value so definitely if you're a bigger better you're gonna to want to check out that all access pass but we've got a game here to talk about between syracuse and miami and uh the syracuse orange coming into this one with a record of 12 and 5 on the year three and three in conference play after a 69 to 58 road win over Pitt in their last matchup. Meanwhile, uh, Miami coming in off of losses in three of their last four, also sitting at three and three in ACC play, following an 84 to 75 loss at home to Florida State in their last matchup. And it's all kind of going sideways for Miami right now, at least it feels like, you know, they lost in overtime to Wake Forest and that looked to be a decent Wake Forest team, you know, for, for much of the season. Uh, but then the loss at home is 16 and a half point favorites to Louisville. Bounced back against Virginia Tech on the road, but then in the in the rivalry against Florida State, they just got punched in the mouth by the Seminoles and really had no answer. Um, that was a game where we had Florida State here, and uh, you know it was, uh, it was it was all Seminoles in that one. Miami made their made their attempt at getting back into the game, but it was it was simply too little, too late. As uh, Florida State basically never uh, never let Miami back into the game. They never Miami never led in that game. It was wire to wire from Florida State as well. Um, on the other hand, you got Syracuse coming in. Like I said, inconsistency, alter alternating wins and losses in each of their last five. But you look at just the offensive numbers since the since the other uh, win over Pitt on uh, December thirtieth. You've had four games from Syracuse um, up to this point. S outputs of 66, 69, 67, and sixty nine. Definitely a far cry from a lot of the points that uh, that Syracuse and the point totals that Syracuse was putting up earlier this season, where putting up. 80, 80 plus in a win um, or any, in any home game or any game in general for the most part was sort of the regular, you know, the regularity, the norm, um, except when you take them out on the road, when they were on neutral floors or when they were on uh, straight up road environments, more often than not, the Syracuse team struggled. So to see them struggling at home against teams like Boston College, eh, that's a little bit of an eye opener. But the thing for me in this game is that while I do like Syracuse and what they put together and I mean, this is a, a much better effort from from the Orange under Adrian Autry than we were, at least what I thought we were getting earlier in the season. I just haven't loved what I've seen from Syracuse. They have one, like I said, one of the worst offensive efficiency numbers in the ACC in conference play. This team just does not shoot the three well. They're second worst in the ACC in three point percentage in conference play. In conference play, they're tenth in two point shooting. The only thing that the Syracuse team is doing fairly well is getting to the foul line. And hitting their free throws, they're shooting free throws at 76.4% in conference play. The other, the reason that's an issue is because Miami is top five nationally overall this season in free throw rate allowed. And in the ACC in conference play, Miami's defense is best at, at not allowing free throws. They're also the best at three-point defense as well. So I genuinely just don't know where the points are going to come from from Syracuse. Has Miami's offense been great? No, it's been around middle of the pack. But... I think they're good enough in this game. I think the Hurricanes do enough to go out on the road and pick themselves up a road win. I'm going to take the point and a half. I'm just not sure we need it. Give me Miami in this one. That's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.